I'm gonna break rule number one. <laughs> Gotta move the seat back. Uh, 2000 something or other, Subaru Forester, it appears. I think a 10 maybe. Lady left me a note. In a letter, in a uh, envelope. Made some from very nice cardstock. An outstanding penmanship. Wow. And she writes, uh, thank you for looking at my problem. Just a little history. About one and a half years ago, I was going through rear right bulbs. The man that did my work, gives his phone number, Jerry rigged it. About a month ago, blank blank garage put a new sensor in. The old one is in the glove box. Well, let's have a looky. What is in the glove box? There's lots of stuff in it, but there's this. Uh, not a sensor, but this is a uh, brake light switch of some sort, right? She's a two pedaler, so it's a brake light switch. Um, it's got a funky smell in here, so if I seem distracted, this guy's a stinky leg. Uh, the old one is in the glove box. The ABS light comes and the ABS light came and went when it feel, felt like it. So they thought it was the sensor. Okay. I thought it was the brake light switch because the ABS light was coming on and on. Uh, then I got stopped Saturday a.m. 5.30 by one local cop. Said when I stepped on the brakes, the brakes did not light up brighter. Love always. This is D. So that's where we're at. I guess, long story short, is it sounds like we don't have brake lights. And what we can do here, I will put the note back here. Brake light switch been replaced. Like to have a little history on the car. We'll fire it up here. Uh, currently we have no lights on, just a door ajar. Passenger door must have been, oh, and tire pressure light is blinking. Seat belt and headlights, that's it. And the cold engine light, let me show you. That just tells us our engine's cold, we got 88K on her. Seat belt, flashing TPMS. Again, the new switch. Uh, let's have a listen down here. Okay, it appears that the brake switch probably works because it still locks us out of park. So at least a portion of it does, so that's a clue. Uh, let's take a little toot just around the block. Boy, I can't see diddly out of our mirrors. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just go for just a quick little rip, see if anything funky happens ABS light wise or other you're gonna have to deal with a beeper or maybe I'll just pause the camera I'll let you guys know if something happens because you're gonna get really annoyed oh never mind it stopped nice foggy morning Everything seems normal light-wise. Uh, nothing's happening there. I don't know if it's throwing any kind of code from her letters. She didn't indicate that it was coming on currently. I think that was the one and a half years ago prior when the guy named Jerry worked on it. Here's something interesting. So I just pulled in, shut the door, and I was looking in the mirror to see if I could see you know, brake lights coming on, just kind of reflecting on the door. Something back there lights up red. However, I was looking up here in my toolbox. That's on the brakes, off the brakes. On the brakes, <laughs> off the brakes. You kind of see something going on up there. Uh, so I don't know what kind of work old Jerry did, but we're going to have to have a look. Nothing on the front of the vehicle right now. Of course, the key's off. We're going to stick this little guy in there. It's our brake pedal depression tool it goes down wherever the brake pedal is it's way over here on the left and then it comes up and just hooks on the steering wheel no I did not make the tool uh, it's just made from some old caulk gun bits the company sells it Thexton I guess it is part number coming up the classic 393 Thexton part number uh, works handy brakes are on Nothing's lit up here because I must not be on the brake pedal. Nope, let me go uh, step on the brakes again. 
just had to push them a little harder. All right, so it looks like that upper running light and this marker light here, and that one must be out. That one would be lit up too, so it's the marker lights there. So what's it do? Light up the marker lights back here? No, that's the brake lights. And also the marker lights there. So old Jerry has done something. We gotta find where he's had his dirty little paws. That's why it smells funny. Uh, let's pull out the lights because the lady doesn't know what he did but somewhere's oh jerry's got some stuff crossed that looks like a 7440 bulb in there the outer element is lit up on that one the outer element on that one is that what it is that one's too bright to tell way to go jerry you jerk we will start right over here. I stuck the battery maintainer on it. Now, I'm just gonna have to assume where Jerry the jerk hole was. I see this bolt here, it's kind of half stuck out and half loose. So, usually jury guys aren't too, uh, too proud of what they do. Uh, would I start here normally with this diag had we not known that Jerry the jerk was here? I don't know. Uh, these symptoms, Marker lights coming on with the brake lights. I would be thinking dual element bulb shorted together, uh, trailer connector, you know, under the mat here shorted together, something like that. So perhaps I would start with pulling up the tail lights. Um, let me get a little plastic prying apparatus and yank this out of here. Let's unplug this one. Let's just see. We're just gonna unplug the whole light. Come on, mother lover. Maybe. Quit being a bunch of wuss bags. Come on, baby! Freaking stupid, stupid fingers. Really makes you wonder how Jerry got in there. What the frick? Hey, well, you know what he's say, huh? Now what's happening? Did that turn everything off? Well, look at that. We got right on the first guess. Good thing Jerry left the bolt loose. Now what's that mean for us? Let's flip you around here where I can see you. It doesn't look like Jerry Bear's been back here. Everything was pretty intact. Let's have a look in here. Looks like Jerry Bear's been in here, though. Things are kind of waffled up inside here. Like big time. Like, what are you doing, Jerry? Because none of that makes sense to me. Uh, that is super weird. You got terminals kind of bent over and smashed over. And I get a light, see if I can kind of straighten stuff up. Doesn't look like he's done anything to this. Huh. I don't know, Jerry. Jerry Bear might have this one a touch too far gone. He's got this thing pretty bent up and wadded up inside here. Some of these tabs he's bent right around and straightened right out. Uh, realistically, I, mean, I can fiddle with this thing, but some of the copper tabs in here, he's like I say, opened right straight up and out and then bent some right, squished them right down over top of each other. Interesting. Uh, what I say is that we grab our 10 mil, our prying apparatus, and we just go to the junkyard to see if we can just get this harness. I don't know if they have any newer foresters there, but at least we can get a pigtail, perhaps if they have the correct pigtail. Um, I think that makes the most sense. I mean, look on the old Wilberts. You pull it a bath, not a sponsor. Let's see if they have something. What am I talking about? I got a Subaru right here. I got a Subaru over there. We got plenty of junk cars. Got any more outside? 
by the real scumbag, that's how we can do it. I can put it in the cross trek. Then when the lady comes to show up, say, hey, wait a minute, lady. You got a brake light out. And then sell her the part again, double whammy, get paid twice. But I'm not a scumbag. So let's go to Wilbert's. You pull the bath. Uh, inventory. Hopefully they have something here for us. I don't, they don't have much uh, in the line of late models there. So Subaru, Forester, they've got an 06. I don't know if that's the same body style. Is that the same body style? 2006 Forester. What do they look like? Where's Google Images? Is that the same thing as this? Uh, negative Ghost Rider. A little different. Maybe... Um, Maybe they use the same taillight harness. It is a little different. I think it's worth the risk. Subaru, hey look, this guy's got a plate laid out. Um, Subaru has used that 7440 or 7443 bulb for quite a while. So I say we go down there, uh, down to the Wilberts. Because they got a 01, a 04, and a couple of 06s. What about Impresas? I mean, they, they've, yeah, they've got a 08, couple 08 Impresas. They're gonna have that connector either way. We'll look at some Subarus. Uh, rows uh, 18 and 15, all right. Well, after my nine o'clock shows up, I'll do my nine o'clock. We'll hop in a truck, we'll go down, we'll have fun, we'll laugh. Some of you might cry. We'll do what we gotta do. We're en route. On the main street. Nine o'clock, still foggy. I moved my nine o'clock back to nine forty-five. So we should be good. We just gotta be in and out real quick. Ah, this kind of sucks, man. This place is empty. They've gotten rid of almost all of the cars here. Just a few rows left. So I don't know what they're doing. Um, I doubt they're. I thought they are closing it up, but man, they've been crushing cars like crazy. Scrap metal's way down, so they can't be doing it just for that, but who knows. Hopefully it's not tanking, but we gotta find the Asian cars. I think they rose 10 through 15, he told me. What we got here, boys? Subaru. Hey, look at that, huh? Oh, sugar. I think this is the one we needed, right? How lucky do we get? What son of a mother did not bring a pair of wire cutters with him? I think it was the brown one. Um, sugar. I brought my, my wear toolkit with the clip for the on-the-go lifestyle. However, it does not have wire cutters and I wasn't thinking. Good thing I'm a man and carry a knife. We're just gonna go like this. Pull the glove like that. And now we've got a good socket. Hopefully it's the right one. Why didn't I take a picture of stuff before I left? It should be the right one, right? Dual element, brake, bulb, brake, running lights, all that stuff. I was just talking to a customer there for a minute. He's just now leaving. And while I was chit-chatting, I put some crimpy ends on this. And look at that. Some days we get real lucky. We even got the one same, not only the same color, but the same color wires and everything. So we're gonna take that tape off there. And yes, let me just make sure I think it's even terminated with the same numbers. Thought it had little numbers on it, but in either case, uh, it does not. But we're gonna take our chance. Cause that's what we like to do. Live life, take chances. Uh, dollar 85 is what the Wilberts charge us for that little fella. Plus, they whacked us with a four cent environmental fee. And we didn't even dump any oil on the ground this time. That's all right, I'm sure we'll get them again next time. I hope nothing fishy's going on down there. Kind of gives you a little concern to see all the cars leaving. I'm not trying to start any rumors or insinuate anything, but it does make you wonder. That place has to be tremendously expensive to run. A uh, lot of staff there. Uh, always, I would say at least five or six people there for a self-service type facility. 
and you know with everybody on the payroll it's very very expensive to have people on payroll in New York State um, you know we have to offer health insurance and retirement and all that stuff and all the taxes we pay it's very expensive so I can't imagine what it costs to run a place like that a lot of money so maybe they're just crushing some cars to get some money. Who knows? I wish they were a little more friendly, a little more personal, more personal in there, personable. They're pretty cut and dry. It's just business, which kind of sucks. You really, I'm starting to miss uh, the small mom and pop type shops. We still have a really good hardware store in Bath. If you ever get down to Bath, go to Bath Plumbing great little place one of my favorite places to go like when I need hardware stuff like that plumbing hardware stuff uh, neat little place we're gonna let that cool down but I guess what I'm getting at is those places are getting far and few between like my favorite ice cream store the twin kiss the TK lounge I call it uh, it won't be long and that place will be under two it's getting pretty pretty ratty pretty run down nobody's putting any money back into it so that kind of sucks because the other ice cream store, mean, what mean bunch of girls. Yep, I don't like going there. Of course, all the diners have closed, all that stuff. Well, King Andy's got New York pretty well shut down. They all survived for a little while here during Rona, but after, uh, you know, after it's been a year, it's, they're all pretty well smoked. stick the little white tape back on it just like the factory there we go and then I think this bulb this bulb here looked newer hmm you know what I don't know I don't like how that one fits we're not gonna use it cuz I don't know what Jerry did here to the uh, little bendy thingies on it but before we get too far we're gonna stick this one back in wipe our schmutz off it here we're just going to plug this in, see if it works. I really don't want to plug it in and latch it. How the heck are we going to get that thing undone? Ah, I did, I clicked it. The brake lights are on. <laughs> not over here, they're not. You jerk. The marker lights are not on. All right, Jerry, what's going on here? We've got this fixed properly maybe there's an issue down the stream further wouldn't that be a pisser if we should have got the whole harness but we didn't um we know our crimps are good we take this bulb here we might be back to the original problem let's get a test light let's see what we're missing let's turn on we'll stick the the free bulb we got maybe may just be blown before we get too far here yeah this bulb's just blown the whole middle of it's gone you ding dong now we've got a brand new 7443 from upstairs from Napper. Not a sponsor. Look at that. When you got a bulb that's not blowing. And to think Wilberts gave us that bulb for free. No wonder. Uh, let's make sure that the marker lights are not on. And they are not. Wow, what a cheesy video. I'm going to title it, Don't Be a Jerry. That fits lovely in there. That fits lovely in there. Even better. Whoa! Now we gotta click the little guy on there. So there, now that's all assembled. Uh, Josh, why don't you hop in this car for us? Turn, just turn the key on. I'm gonna have you run through some lights. Uh, you have to take my brake pedal depressor out of there. Set that right there for right now. All right, keys on, Josh? Yep. Okay, and you got marker lights on right now, I assume? Yep. Okay, marker, marker, marker. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you what. Hit your brakes. You push the pedal hard. There you go. We got brake light. We got third brake light. Okay, do your left turn. Right turn. Reverse. Nothing. 
Something's funny is going. All right, put her back in park. All right, turn off your marker lights, Josh. Okay, step on your brakes. Brake lights are on, marker lights are off up here. Uh, turn on your marker lights. So yeah, just got the one out here. We need to put a bulb in that. All right, sweet. And I assume you have high beam, low beam, all that stuff, right? All right, beautiful. Go ahead and shut her off there, good. I guess that's that, folks. Moral of the story, don't be a Jerry. <laughs> Probably took longer to rig that up than it did to fix it. I'm still not certain as to what they were trying to accomplish there by doing all that. I'm not sure. The bulb that they had used, uh, I mean, it is a 7443, just a wedge bulb. I don't know if the base of it's kind of screwy because it wouldn't go in our socket and I wasn't going to force it and end up with the same rigmarole that they had. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what or why this ended the way it did for this lady. Making her get pulled over by the police. Uh, but it's fixed now. Everybody's happy. You know, it only costs $2. Well, plus the bulb. Actually, that bulb costs more than that socket. <laughs> So we're going to leave it at that, folks. Not a real exciting fix, just a bad light socket. Moral of the story, don't be a Jerry or a jerk. Uh, and that's it. Go down there. Don't be a jerk. Go in the comment section. Questions, comments, concerns, all that stuff. The Insta, the Facebook. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.